can I become a data analyst without a degree? And the answer is yes, but most people don't realize that you must do things differently to succeed. In this video, I want to show you exactly how you can become a data analyst without a degree. But if you already have a degree, I mean, this is going to make it even easier. So first, we need to understand the purpose of a degree. And it's just for employers to filter applications. It's really as simple as that. They get a ton of applicants and they're asking for a degree to kind of reduce the workload. It's not a bulletproof strategy by any means, and we can discuss that later, but it's the one they use. But degrees aren't always necessary. And deep down, employers don't really care about the degree. It's just a way for them to see that you can do the job and they're actually looking for your skills. So if you can focus on learning the key skills, you'll go a long way. I cover it in another video, but just quickly, it's SQL, Python, Excel, and a visualization software. Learn the key skills and to think like a data analyst and actually learn it. Don't just watch videos, but actually apply it. There are plenty of resources, and honestly, universities are not able to keep up with the changes. While a recent graduate might be better at certain theoretical stuff, you can become an expert at the practical real-world analytics and stand out that way. Try competing where your strengths lie. There's so many online resources that you can use nowadays, like Coursera, YouTube, and plenty of other free platforms as well. But unfortunately, what's gonna get you a job is not just knowing the skills. You'll need a way to be a credible candidate, to be able to show that you can do the job. The best way to do this is by doing projects, which I've talked about a million times, but it is the best way to both learn and showcase your skills in a relatively realistic scenario. If you want to break into a certain industry, I recommend you do projects from that industry, as a company can just look and see, oh wait, he's already doing the things that we're doing day to day. That's incredibly valuable. Now, this video is not just about projects. You can also get a certification, and I would personally go for projects first, as some people make the mistake of thinking that a cert is going to fix every single problem. It's just like a quick fix or a booster, but it's not the complete solution. There are courses with certificates of completion that you get after finishing them, and these are good, but it's mainly for your own motivation, right? The real certifications are those that you get from taking an exam, for example, from companies like Google and Microsoft. I've made a video on these, which I'll link you to at the end. Now, the goal of a certification is just like with projects to show that you're proficient in skills that employers are looking for. So make sure that your certification actually overlaps with the key skills that we talked about. Now, if you're starting without a degree, you're going to be facing some challenges that people with a degree can avoid, right? Your applications might sometimes get stuck in the automatic resume scanning system, and it sucks because you might just be as qualified or even better than somebody else with a degree. Something you can do is leverage your transferable skills from other positions. Even if it feels completely irrelevant, it might not be. If you could frame your experience and kind of extract some experience in a way that could boost your profile, such as being solutions-oriented, analytical, creative, or a great communicator, that could actually boost your profile, even if it's not like you worked with SQL or Python. The next thing is something that you can do just as well if you don't have a degree, and it's to network. I know the word just sounds scary, like you have to go and put yourself out there, but really, you're gonna learn a ton, meet some nice people, and perhaps find some opportunity that way. If you know the right person, you can actually skip the traditional hiring process and get straight to an interview. And this can be made easier by building a strong online presence as well, something to make you stand out. Now, I don't recommend that you start posting content and get distracted from your actual journey of analytics, but rather what you can do is when you create a project or something like that, you could share it on Medium and you can make a post about it on LinkedIn, just showing the world that you actually did something. We like to think that other people track us, but in reality, everybody's busy with their own stuff, and if you start sharing your things, nobody's gonna judge you, you're gonna learn a lot and perhaps get new connections, and honestly, even if they do judge you, then who cares? The most important thing is that you stay consistent, though, and this is the number one problem that I see because it's pretty hard to be. Establish a routine that's gonna work for you long term, and don't get stressed over it. Try to make a habit of studying and practicing regularly at a pace that's okay for you. If you have a full-time job or a family, then don't expect to study like 6 hours a day. It's just not gonna work long term. And it's much better to be realistic and set a schedule that you can actually stick to. But I do want to leave you with some encouraging words, because know that it's absolutely doable. It's of course way easier to get a job with a degree, but plenty of people have transitioned into data analytics without formal education, and they're doing it every single day. If you're dedicated, then you can do it. Alright, that's it. Bye.